Mega Man 3 has an interesting history in the series. It had some snags in development and was rushed and released before it was fully finished. Something that happens often in this day and age. Which means the game has a few glitches and parts of it feel a bit underexplored, but you could definitely play through the game without noticing any issues. Except for the difficulty being weirdly balanced at certain points. Because of this, I've never beaten this game as a kid, and now it's time to change that. Unlike Mega Man 2, this one doesn't have any intro cutscene, which sucks because it actually has a really unique story, a story you'll only learn if you read the game's manual. Basically, Dr. Wily is a good guy now, and he and Light are collaborating on a giant peacekeeping robot named Gamma. In order to power Gamma, they need to collect energy from eight different planets. Wait, what? You're telling me that each of these stages are actually different freaking planets and Mega Man is just zooming through space to each one? Huh. Okay. Eight Robot Masters were built to harvest this energy from the planets, but all of them have gone haywire, and Mega Man has to go beat them up and get the energy back. But he doesn't have to do it all by himself. Now he has a dog! And a brother! But that's a spoiler, you aren't supposed to know he's his brother until you beat the game. So let's get started! Immediately, you may notice a couple things about the stage select screen. There's some screen tearing here, for some reason, even in the Legacy Collection port. And next, you'll notice Mega Man here in the center, and his eyes follow wherever your cursor is. It sort of gives him a sassy expression, like, oh, you're gonna start with Top Man stage so you can beat Shadow Man and abuse Shadow Blades for the rest of the run. How original. N no Yes. Planet Top Man is pretty sick. It seems like the main export is some kind of leafy green plant. Oh shit, we made it to Top Man! Wait, that's definitely a Top Man, but it's not Top Man. My favorite part about Mega Man 3 is it's the first game where you can slide, slide. It's way faster and way more fun than walking. You also start out with Rush Coil, which gives us a boost to grab a 1-up. But watch out, these Mets are forklift certified. Oh shit, a giant cat. Oh god. I hate me. Mondays. What's in this room? Ah, just a single Met? Oh god, it's a single Met. No wonder they put that health here. This room was hard. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be sick. And we've made it to Top Man. He shoots out Beyblades and he wears Heelys, a deadly combination. But his attacks are easy to avoid with a bit of practice. Oh yeah, this game was the first with a neat little power get animation. All right, next up is Shadow Man. This planet's main export is tomato soup. It's pouring all over the place. They can't contain it. Huh? Oh shit, it's Proto Man. Why is he attacking us? Why is he so bad at aiming? Jeez, what an asshole. Who turned out the lights? Oh shit, it's a grenade man. Not to be confused with the grenade man. God, these jumpy boys are so annoying. Ah, uh, uh, ah, ah, don't fall into the soup, ah! Made it to Shadow Man, but holy crap, was it close. He actually has a lot of crazy jutsu and ninja techniques that make him super hard to beat with just the buster. But with top spin, he's pretty easy. As long as the game doesn't glitch out and delete all your weapon energy. I hit him four times and it costs this much energy. Sounds about right. The weaknesses get a little complicated in Mega Man 3, and I don't remember who's weak to Shadow Blade. But let's just go to Snake Man next. Snake Planet appears to be made out of giant snakes, and their main export is snakes. Little snakes, big snakes, if you've ever seen a snake or owned a pet snake, chances are it's from Snake Planet. It's a pretty nice place, except for these freaking pole vaulting bastards. God, they're so annoying. We get it. You're real athletic. <gasps> is that a gachapon? Oh sweet, an E-Tank! I'm not actually sure if you can clear this pit with just your jump, and I don't want to risk it! This level transitions in a really interesting way, from oops, all snakes, up into clouds made by these smokestacks. And there are these little smoke clouds that are actually missiles. They're pretty harmless as long as you don't shoot them. And we make it to Snake Man. Turns out he's not weak to Shadow Blade, but it's a bit better than the Buster. He's a little slippery and slithers all over the place, but after learning how to avoid him, we beat him. Up next is Gemini Man. This is the first stage that actually looks like a different planet, complete with aliens. But you could also mistake it for an ice level. <gasps> oh shit, Proto Man's back to kick our ass again. Oh wait, no, he helped us this time. This is actually some really good foreshadowing for an NES game. It's like, wow, maybe he's not so bad after all. But on the flip side, imagine if we came to Gemini Man stage before Shadow Man stage. Oh hey, that guy's back to help us get through this door. Oh, he's got a gun, what the fuck? Anyway, I bet there's something past this pit. Oh, 
Nah, that must be a different game. These egg sections are kind of creepy. You shoot these eggs and tadpoles come out and then you gotta shoot them too. The path through this level is paved with the corpses of unborn children. You need to use Rush Coil to break through these eggs, cancel this guy's club penguin membership, and use Rush Marine for this water part. The Rush Marine sections are probably my favorite parts of this game. It's a shame there's only like three of them. And we made it a Gemini man. Uh, sorry, Gemini men. Plural. Ah! Throw enough snakes to eat his clone and he's done for. Okay, next is Needleman. That's weird. The manual refers to all these as uncharted planets. So like, why is there a city here? Was this place already colonized by aliens? Are we just stealing their resources to power Gamma? This looks pretty empty. Ah! Haha, <laughs> you won't get me this time. Hey look, I'm a Smash Bros player. Use Shadow Blade to kill this camper for an E-Tank, and sliding makes it a lot easier to deal with these big jumpy enemies. Wish I had that back in Mega Man 1. And we made it to Needle Man. He's weak to Gemini Laser. When it hits. But eventually we get him. Okay, Sparkman's next. This planet's main export is sick beats because good lord, Sparkman's theme is an absolute banger. And they probably make some electricity here too. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a shame how much trash they produce in this level though. Spark Planet is looking like Earth from Wally. -E. This platforming section is really difficult. Ah. Uh, ooh, whoa, that was close. Ah. I might be stuck here for a while. If I didn't have a cool flying dog, let's go! Man, Rush is such a good boy. Kinda makes me wanna get a dog. Hey, Doc? Hmm, can I get a dog? A dog? Why, what for? I don't know. Emotional support? Hmm, pretty good reason, in my opinion. I'm, I'm not sure, guy. That's, that's another variable, and we're already on thin ice for funding as it is. Okay, sorry guys, the doc said no. We're just gonna have to live vicariously through Mega Man and his super cool flying dog. I kind of forgot what Sparkman is weak to, so I spent half the fight spamming him with needle cannons before deleting him with my Demon Wind Shuriken! Okay, Magnet Man is next. It's interesting how these flying magnet robots pull you up, but aren't constantly pulling themselves into the ground, since it's also made of metal. Those little propellers must be really freaking strong. Oh crap, Proto Man's back. Uh, friendly? Ah, not friendly! Well, he's still pretty easy to dodge. You'd have to be an idiot to get hit by him. Arr! Hey, it's the disappearing block level of the game. A rush coil lets us bypass part of it. It's a little tricky with this magnet trying to suck us, though. At least you don't have to do it over a pit like in Heat Man's level. Nah, fuck this. Nope, not dealing with it. And it's time for Magnet Man. Oh no, he's going Super Saiyan! Thank goodness he's weak to Spark Shock. There's gotta be some use for this weapon, right? And the last robot is Hard Man. <laughs> That's what your mom calls me when, when she, uh, me when she. Hard Man's planet is where they filmed the bee movie. The bees won. No humans, no plant life. There is only bees. All that's left of the humans are these monkeys. Hmm, monkey. Gotta make it past some more forklift drivers to get an E-Tank, run past this room full of crocodile traps and more bees, and Oh, it's just Proto Man again. <gasps> Wait, the room isn't flat. He can actually shoot me. We managed to beat him and make it to Hard Man. God damn, he's thick. He's so thick that he stuns you when he hits the ground. Even if you're in the air for some reason. He's no problem with Magnet Missile though. Okay, it's on to the final level. Wait, huh? Who are these evil smug bastards? Question mark? Oh, uh, please tell me I'm not in another creepy pasta. Oh, sick! Needleman's level is at night now. Aside from just a scenery change, these levels are significantly harder than the original, and the dock robot bosses within them copy the patterns of previous robot masters from Mega Man 2. Like this one is. <gasps> oh shit! It's Air Man. Everything's the same, but we don't have Leaf Shield to delete him in one cycle. But turns out he's weak to electricity, like some kind of pocket monster. Moving on to a pretty infamous section of the game, only made passable by Rush. Jet. If you happen to die, these energy capsules don't come back, so you've only got one chance to make it through. So yeah, I'm gonna use an E-Tank here just to be safe. Then we gotta fight a big Met. Man, there are actually a ton of Mets here. You know who loves Mets? Dr. Wily. But he's a good guy now, I'm sure he's not behind all this. And then we make it to Dot Crash Man. Thank goodness Mega Man 2 is fresh in my mind. I remember all of these guys' patterns, just gotta figure out what their weakness is. Not Magnet Missile. Eh, topspin works, but at what cost? Gemini laser? Uh, definitely not. Oh, I just gotta punch him. I feel like a lot of people would be weak to that. On to Sparkman stage, part two. There's a lot more enemies, and you pretty much need Shadow Blade to take care of them. And there's also a bunch of spinny platforms to mess with your jumps. Next is Doc Metal Man. Hmm. Oh, he's weak to Magnet Missile, because he's made of metal. 
Well, I mean, come to think of it, they're kind of all made of metal, so... Gotta carefully fall down this spike pit all the way to floor B10. <laughs> this game's about to be B10. Get it? Like, beaten, but B... Shut up! Make it past the trash room and we're at Doc Quickman. Holy shit, he hits hard! I think he's weak to Gemini Laser, but of course he's quick, man, so it's even harder to hit. I knew ahead of time that the Doc robots were really hard. They're what kept me from beating the game as a kid, so I made sure to save a bunch of E-Tanks this time. Thanks to that, we beat him! On to Gemini Man Part 2! There's even more alien activity, and all the penguins are gone. Okay, there's definitely something past the pit this time. Oh man, kill a couple hundred more innocent tadpole children. And then we make it to Doc Flashman. He's bigger and hits way harder than Flashman, but for some reason he can only stop time for like a second. And here's another Rush Marine section. I'm telling you, these are so much fun, but this one literally only lasts nine seconds. Like, what the hell? We're almost there and I'm out of lives. Probably should have gotten a game over to reset them earlier, but instead I'll just sit here for a bit and farm some bug boys. And it's time for Doc Bubble Man. He was weak to Metal Blade last game and he's weak to Shadow Blade in this one. And finally, Shadow Man Part 2. Oh, I should get that game over I mentioned. Now we can proceed as normal. Huh? Okay, yeah, I, I guess I did get my hand caught there. Let's try again. Huh? I feel like this hitbox is a little cringe, but okay. Give it a short hop and we're on our way. God damn it! These little platforming sections are fun, and it looks really cool with the lights off. Oh, come on, the light bulb has a hitbox. Screw it, let's just rush jet past this time. And it's time for Doc Woodman. I haven't used Search Snake, so that's gotta be his weakness. Huh? Ah. Uh, ooh, ah, uh, so close. Oh well, we'll get him next to- uh, The checkpoint is all the way back here! Fine, I'll walk all the way back- Huh? Oh shit. You alright, bud? Yeah, I'm good. It's just a video game. Hey, I take offense to that! Whew. Okay, we make it back, we barely beat him. And we're on our way. Gotta be careful not to fall in the tomato soup, and it's time for Doc Heat Man. I haven't used Top Spin yet, so here it goes. Phew. Okay, we just barely got him. And that's all the Doc Robot stages. Now it's time for the final level. Wait, who the hell is Break Man? Hmm, he has the same theme song as Proto Man, same color scheme as Proto Man. He fights exactly like Proto Man, but Proto Man doesn't wear a mask. I'm stumped. Oh well. Oh, uh, Mega Man, it's crazy. After we received the last energy element, Dr. Wowie stole Gamma. Oh, that is crazy. I never would have expected him to do that. Those idiots. They probably never expected me to double cross them like this. Ha <laughs> ha, losers! There's so unlike him. Okay, off to Wily stage one. Man, this game is a lot longer than the other ones, huh? It's nothing too crazy, but there is another Rush Marine section. Oh, it's over already. Not if I can help it. Let's go, Rush. Come on, just climb the ladder. Gotta punch through some walls for a one-up and some other free stuff. Kind of a fun little block section here. And then we make it to the boss. It's some kind of claw machine. And instead of grabbing me, it spits out turtles. They keep speeding up, but after killing five turtles, it just violently explodes. Wily Stage 2 starts out with a bunch of these trapdoor platforms. There's no danger here, it's just really annoying. More crocodiles and bees try to stop us and Rush Jet takes us past two more E-Tanks and straight to the boss. Which is... Oh no, could it be? The Yellow Devil! He's not weak to electricity like in the first game, and he's got some new tricks. And of course, if you die, the last checkpoint is the beginning of the stage. But that's all okay because I have the power to slide! No bullshit patterns can defeat me now! If it gets close to defeating me, I still have a bajillion E-Tanks, it's fine. Wily Stage 3. It starts out like a climbing stage, and it feeds you more E-Tanks. This dark room section is cool, and it's up to Search Snake to kinda let you feel your way around. Hmm, this Hammer Joe is awfully suspicious. Why is he here? What is he guarding? Oh, I guess nothing. Weird, I really thought there'd be a secret here or something. Gotta climb up these neat moving platform screens and crack open some more gotcha pawns, and it's onto the boss. Oh shit, it's a multi-man mini! They really do hurt, and they have the power to angle their shots. But at this point, we have eight E-Tanks, so it's fine. Wily Stage 4 starts us in a stinky sewer. Gotta fight some rock men. Not to be confused with rock man. And we make it to the boss graveyard. Shoot some lasers at Needle Man, Zap Magnet Man. Apparently the reason Gemini Man is weak to Search Snake is he's just afraid of snakes. Poor guy. Hard Man gets Magnet Missile. Top Man is weak to Hard Knuckle. But honestly, Hard Knuckle is so slow it doesn't feel much easier than our Buster attempt. 
We beat Snake Man with Twin Needle Attack! Cosplay Naruto against Spark Man and do some 360s on Shadow Man. And it's time for Wily Stage 5. Oh hey, another E tank. Wily's in a weird snail robot called a Pinbot, and its first phase is weak to Spark Shock. I'm not sure if the second phase is actually weak to Shadow Blade, but it makes it really easy to just stand under it and shoot up. And we did it! We beat Dr. Uh huh? Dr. Wily was a robot this whole time? No, you idiot. It was a decoy. I fooled you again. Okay, rude. You'll never find me at my secret, secret final lair in the tip of this giant bone. Wait, has this map been showing you where I am this entire time? No! And here we are at Wily Stage 6. Wow, they just keep giving you free stuff. I'm already at full health. Eh, yeah, whatever. And time to fight Gamma. God damn! No wonder Wily stole you. Okay, but actually this first phase is pretty easy. It's basically just a big dumb sprinkler and you just gotta shadow blade him a couple times. And then Wily comes in to fully control Gamma and the real fight begins. Rush coil up and shoot the cockpit. But it's kind of hard to break through. It's hopeless, Buster, Mega no. Man. You'll Eagle never cannon, break no. through Gamma's that indestructible hole. Not you are powerless. Not and I will take laser. over the what world. Search snake? Give up now. Wait, is that a snake? Ah, fuck, man. There's so many snakes in here. Ah. Nice, we did it. Ow. Please have mercy, Mega Man. Oh shit, this place is falling apart. Oh no, we gotta get out of here. Where's Dr. Wily? Dr. Wily! You can hear me screaming! Ah, whatever, he's probably fine. Oh, well, Mega Man, you're alright. I found you unconscious, but I didn't want to wake you up. You just looked so sweepy. Huh? Did you hear that sweet theme music? I only installed theme music in one robot. Proto Man! And also, he's your brother. And the ending cutscene plays. We learn that Breakman was actually Proto Man. Shocker, I know. And that Proto Man is Mega Man's brother? Oh, and Wily survived. And yeah, that's Mega Man 3. On the surface, it's the same as Mega Man 1 and 2, but you can tell the scope was intended to be much larger. New characters, a unique story, and it's a lot longer. But it sure feels less polished than Mega Man 2 overall. And I can't help but wonder what kind of Mega Man 3 we would have gotten if the team was given more time to work on it, even just two or three more months. Would we have gotten a cool opening cutscene? Would Breakman have gotten his own level? Would they have added reasonable checkpoints to the Doc Robot levels? I don't know. Either way, the Mega Man 3 we got is the Mega Man 3 we get. It's not my favorite in the series, but I still wouldn't change a thing. I think it's perfect the way it is. Unfinished, but perfect. Kinda like you and me. Not fully realized creations, but we're still great, just the way we are. Hey, thank you so much for watching! If you liked this video, it'd be really sick if you gave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We recently hit 1,000 subs, and I really just wanted to thank you for all the support, especially all the great comments you guys are leaving me. Can't reply to them all, but I do read every one of them, and I truly appreciate it. Anyways, you guys are freaking awesome, so thank you again, and I'll see you soon for Mega Man 4!